The trade deadline has come and gone. I know your team's been dealing with it really well, all the distraction, but do you feel at all just a bit of sense of relief it's officially over now? Um, well, we don't have to answer the questions anymore. I think that's probably the biggest thing, and maybe more so for Connie, because Connie's been at this for a long time, trying to, um, one, um, find the right mix and, and fit for for our team. So he, he's probably the guy that's probably most relieved it's over. For us, as I mentioned, it was just another day, but now it's, again, a game day for us, opportunity to move on and make sure we're ready to go. You have a new defenseman. We saw him in the flesh yesterday. What do you think about him? What do you think he can bring to your back end? Well, we're, we're hopeful that he can, one, add a little offense for us on the power play. I know that's one of the strengths that he does have. Uh, the one thing that I was a little bit surprised at, we knew he was a bigger guy, but he's, he seems much bigger than he's actually listed. So, um, you know, it's it'll be a little bit of a learning curve for us, the same as it is with Hanley, same as it was with Pahal. Um, but we like the character and we like the way these guys have um, seem to fit right in. I know it's only been one or two days, but he's he's right in the mix with all his teammates, and that's something that we like to see. You seem to have a lot of guys that have come on that are just like super excited and giddy and happy to be here. Do you see it, some of that character in these new guys? Uh, you do, um, and I, I think a lot of it is guys want the opportunity, um, and I think they see it. So this is, I, I think the way they would look at it is if I put my best foot forward, um, this might be my chance to prove that I'm a full-time NHL defenseman or forward or whatever that may be. So I, a lot of times that's what players want is that opportunity, and, and these guys are going to get it, so now it'll be up to them. 3-1 win against Florida back in December at the Saddle Dome. What do you take, if anything, from that? And what challenges do the Panthers present today? Uh, they, are, they are one of the best teams in the NHL, if not the best team. Um, they start well. That's something that we have to make sure we're ready for. And the game in Calgary, we didn't get a lot accomplished against them. So there, there's a few adjustments that we have to make for today's game. But for me, the biggest thing is make sure we're we're set to start for a four o'clock game. That'll be a big thing for us tonight. What can you speak to Matt Coronado's kind of strength on the puck? We mm -hmm. saw a couple of plays he made the other night that mm -hmm. led to some goals where he was strong along the wall and confident along the wall. I mean, are you seeing a bit of a growth there from him? Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's one thing that um, we saw in exhibition a lot from him where he was a, a bit of a dog on a bone when it came to finding that loose puck. Uh, it went away a little bit, and I think over time with the Wranglers, he's he's learned to work on that or make sure that he's made it priority again. Um, and we for sure saw it last game. I think he was because of he was hungry on the puck. There was two goals that were a result of that. So um, love to see that continue. We'd love to see if there can still be a connection with Sharon and Hubie, and and hopefully they can have another good game for us tonight.